Grab your popcorn, it's uh, it's tip time. Soon the question asked um, regards honing, cleaning, polishing or working on the inside of cylinders, compression tubes um, and the answer is pretty simple even for someone like me. So this is how you can knock up a quick internal honer or polisher, a little bit of tube or bar, eBay, Amazon, B&Q. Just make sure that if you drills 10 mil chuck, you don't buy any bigger than 10 mil, because that would be stupid because it won't fit. So bar, you can have this any length you want. This is just for, like you know, demo. And then we're going for insulation foam, the type they use around door frames and windows. Being cube again, or Amazon dirt cheap, if you're tight fisted. And it's sticky on one side. It's amazing, isn't it? How to do that? But not on the other. So I want some of that. It's about three quid a roll. And then an abrasive. Now I use Abronet because it's good quality dry abrasive. This is 240 grit. So this would be alright for say holding up the inside of a 97 compression tube. And then you need to check with your big sister or your mum but you're going to need some sharp scissors. So we're going to get the bar. I'm going to get our single sided sticky I'm going to go just be over just beyond the end of the bar and start to tightly rotate it round the bar oh look it's getting bigger don't be rude keep the end as flat as you can as you're coiling it up and you need to stop at the point that you are near as damn it the size of the cylinder that you intend to hone. Leave a little bit. You've now got the sticky on the inside. Now we're going to cut this nice and straight. Or you might be like posh and you might have flat sandpaper and not circular. I only need about an inch and a half. I'm just going to cut that. Now we're going to use this with the straight edge facing upwards to fill the remainder of the gap where we've left the diameter of the foam slightly under. And once again, nice and tight. I bet you're sussing out what I'm up to now, aren't you? Industrial grade super glue. Once again, big sister or your mum, check you're allowed to use it unsupervised. And just put a blob on. There. And hold for a minute. Now, if you stick your fingers to it, you need to take your finger off it before you ram it up your tube on your drill. Now then, for the end bit. A few dabs of glue. Well, it's gone out of the camera there. That's just, you could tell I'm going to go over today. And I'm just going to squirt some around the top. And then I'm going to get my sandpaper. And I'm going to press it on. Not for long, because it's industrial grade super glue this. Cost me £3.95. So it's dear stuff. Everbuild should be paying me a commission. But they won't. Ever. So once that's stuck on, turn it over. And very neatly trim it round. It's 
so that you end up with a cylinder of abrasive. Amphronite is good, it's, it, it's expensive, but it's good because you can tap it clear of debris. And there you have a cylinder toner, polisher that will also polish the ends. Now how's that for a tip? And I can't even go and get pissed yet because it's not tea time. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope you find it useful. <laughs>